This is the hardest defense to play against in Madden 24. Got it. it shuts down the run. It's instant sacks. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Back on the street. He could go all the. And interceptions all game. So if you want to see what brand new defense I'm using, get results like this. Got he. Stick around after the intro. The For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The, the plays from today's video can once again be found on my San Francisco 49ers offensive and multi-day defensive ebooks. If you guys want more help, you can download these or any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. In today's video, I have another rematch with a team that just recently stomped out my team in real life in the Dallas Cowboys. But before I do, if you guys want to see more defensive videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the video and the channel and I appreciate the support. I started this game out on offense and I once again be using a brand new offensive scheme from the single back tight way off that I put out in the video just yesterday. But I'm also going to mostly be focusing on defense in today's video so if you guys want to see more about this offense i'll have a link in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video so stick around for that as i score on the opening drive to take the lead the defense that i'll be showing you guys today is once again the quarter normal which is a defensive formation that i've been using going back as far as last year i already made a full breakdown video of this defense as well so if you guys want to see more plays from this defense i'll once again have a link in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video to set this defense up i just want to make sure that i put as much speed on the field as possible especially my slot cornerbacks and this safety spot here as these spots will be going after the quarterback a lot i also want to put my fastest linebacker in but as the game goes on if it looks like my opponent is going to pass more than run for whatever reason i can change this linebacker to a fast user safety for my coaching adjustments i will be using some matching zone coverages so i want to set my zone coverage to match so that i get the full benefit of matching defense and i will also set my auto alignment to base so that i get to decide whether my opponent can read my defense or not for my auto plays i'm going to start with a cover for a drop as this is my best run defense and one of my best pass coverages as well I already went over this play in my last defensive video though, so in today's video I'm going to focus more on my cover 2 man, which might be the best pass defense in the formation, and the under smoke, which is definitely my best blitz and outside run defense for the scheme. I choose the under smoke on the very first play, and the setup for this blitz is very simple, as all I have to do is walk these cornerbacks down to the line of scrimmage. I don't get the full setup in on the first play though, as he quick hikes me on first down, but look how this cornerback still loops in around and would have easily gotten home before he throws over the middle of the field for a good first play. On the next play, he switches formations on me and I can't align quickly enough before he hikes the ball and runs for the first down. So on the next play, I switch the code for a drop, which is the defense that gets me my most takeaways. He has been running the double drags play a lot, so I try to knock the running back off his route. Gotcha, bitch! And the other safety gets the interception, but it's coming back as I must have made contact with the running back past five yards. <coughs> I go back to cover zero on the next play, and the blitzing cornerbacks usually do a pretty good job of slowing down the run game before I switch to cover two to give him a new look. To set this play up, all I really have to do is base align or man align, which might give up my coverage to my opponent, but I want to make sure that every receiver has a defender right in front of their face, as this is the only way this coverage will work. In last year's Madden, I would like to do things from cover two like press and shade underneath, but it feels like EA patched this to the point where they just get beat off the line instantly. So now I find it's best to make no press or shade adjustments at all, and they will cover much better. It's best to use the spot over the middle, but I will also use the same safety in this defense from time to time depending on my opponent's offensive formation. He switches formations once again probably thinking I'm still in man zero so I base the line to match but he tries to quick hike me again before my cornerback can get set thinking they'll have a wide open receiver deep Fuck you! only to find to his surprise that there's a safety over the top waiting for another interception. Back on offense I pound the rock a few times against his cover zero defense before I get a first down and switch to the easiest one play touchdown in the game in the PA tight end leak as I just have to lob it up for the easy two score lead. Back on defense and now expecting more passing, I switch to the under smoke and I actually get the full setup in for once. As all I really have to do to set up this blitz is to bring the blitzing cornerbacks and safety down to the line of scrimmage and I usually split them out about 5 yards outside the tackle. Doing this will raise the chance that they will get in unblocked and it will also help them maintain the edge if I'm using this as a run defense. But since he's been quick hiking me, I only really get to move the blitzing cornerback as the safety is already at the line. Just a little too close to the left tackle meaning he'll probably get picked up. After that though, I have several options 
options. I can either use the blitzing middle linebacker and hover the guard gap before dropping back into coverage, which will free me up to cover whatever portion of the field that I want, or I can just use whoever is man to the running back and do the same, which will send the linebacker for extra pressure, but I'll also have to cover the running back if he goes out in a pattern. I also have a choice of either pinching the defensive line for better run defense or spreading for better pass rush, but either can work out pretty well with the blitz. On the next play, he runs inside and the blitzing safety is just a little late as he gets past him for a good run on first down. Anytime someone is running a lot, I usually like to switch to cover four, as is my best run defense since the safeties will play the run as long as you don't get pass. But as soon as I do that, he starts to pass, so I switch back to the cover two man defense, as this and the under smoke are my best two pass defensive plays. And my goal is to switch between the two of them to keep my opponent off balance. Whether I'm in cover four drop or cover two man, I still want to make the same adjustments by bringing the safeties down so they get in the passing lanes faster. These safeties won't help out in run defense the same way the cover four safeties will, but they will make plays on the ball like we saw on the first drive i can also pinch the defensive line to try to close up inside run lanes and this setup will allow me to shoot gaps as we cut off the running back this time to force a third and five so since i ran man last time with no pressure i will switch it up to the under smoke this time and hope that he tries to sit back and get comfortable as my cornerbacks are already in good position so i just pinch the defensive line and hover the guard gap before the cornerback gets in right away <laughs> And Josh Sweat comes up with a scoop and score to extend our lead. Now I'm 21 nothing. I know all my opponent is going to do is pass and quickly, and he starts by working drags over the middle, but he is barely completing them as my user is just a step behind. That was a close one. So after he completes the biggest pass of this drive, I decide it's time to bench my linebacker and put in my fastest safety to user. So I replace Sidney Brown with Keely Ringo, my fastest cornerback, and put my fastest safety at the user middle linebacker spot. But it's too little too late for this drive as he completes another crossing route to get inside the five. I switch to the cover four from here and I get a stop on the first play, but it's hard to keep someone out of the end zone on first and goal from the three. Damn it! With a little over a minute left before half, my opponent must like what he is seeing from my cover two man because he switched to that defense himself. But I got the perfect play for that as I flip the field on the very first play before he spreads his defense out to try to stop this outside stretch run and I just switch to the inside zone to finish the drive in just two plays. I try to switch to cover one man on the next play to show him something different, but he beats that right over the middle. So I switch back to the cover two man and he just barely beats my user on the very next play as he is living over the middle of the field at this point. And even though I'm winning by three scores, you couldn't tell that by looking at his quarterback's numbers as he completed every pass, including the ones he threw to me. So this guy is a very competent passer. But the real difference in this game is what happens when the field gets small. As I switch back to cover for a drop in the red zone, and he tries the exact same man beater only this time it ain't man coverage and we get another takeaway back on offense with only a few seconds left we flip the script even faster as we recover two man once again break yourself fool <laughs> thank you windows tinted on my ride when i drive in it and we are off to the races as we score with only one second left before half at the start of the second half, he is really only running double drags from the drive wide corner at this point, so I can't just keep running man. But you can see what this defense has reduced his offense to, as he's really only running this one play at this point. So I switch back to cover four in the very next play and almost get the interception. I stand in on the next play as well, and seeing this makes him switch formations entirely. But I still cut off that running back first before making an insane leaping interception with my safety. <laughs> which is something that a linebacker would never be able to do. Back with the ball, I go into my four minute offense as my opponent clearly has no intention of quitting. So I just run the clock with short passes and run plays before I punch it in on third and six. If you guys wanna see more about this offense, just hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Now at big, I stay in cover four this time and he tries the exact same crossing route before my 65 overall rookie Keely Ringo gets his second computer interception of the game. If you guys want to see more from this offense or a full breakdown of this defense, I will have links of them popping up on screen. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. I should out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.